Our next presenter uh, is the winner of the uh, award given by the AARP Foundation every year. And this is Kay Bransford, the CEO of Memory Bank, which uh, won the uh, Older Adult Innovation Prize last year. Yeah. Kay. Thank you so much. It, is, it was nice to see the other presentation um, from last year. And one of the coolest things about this was I was very happy to be oh, asked yeah. to come back because it's a great way to be able to reflect on what's happened in the past year. You get so busy running your business, you stop to look, look at what you've done um, and appreciate the growth that you've had. So I'm glad to be able to come back and tell you a little bit about what we've been doing. Um, so we did win the Older Adult Focus Innovation. And the reason we won that award is because we are addressing the problem of managing and collecting all the information in your life that is stored in a lot of places. Your personal documents and details, your financial accounts, um, your usernames and passcodes, your medical information and history, the household stuff. We came up with a way to put this stuff together so that you could easily find it when you needed it. And if someone else should need it, they could step in and use it if you chose for them to have that information. The reason why we're qualified to do this is, I wish I looked happier in that picture, but it was the only one they had. It was a good time. Um, both of my parents had their, their health failed simultaneously. So I had to step in and be their advocate. I had their durable power of attorney, which is great, and I'm glad they did the estate planning, but I didn't know where all of their stuff was. I needed to pay bills. I needed to manage their household. I needed to be their medical advocate, and I didn't know their history. So I ended up creating a book that I carried around with me that collected all this information, because I'm doing this on top of raising two of my own kids and managing my own house. And so this binder just became the system that I used my siblings would come to town and I could hand the book over and they could easily step in and pick up where I left off and it was basically just a book. And that's really the catalyst for what has become Memory Bank and how we're growing. Um, I have worked in business for a long time so I worked in marketing and I always remember going back to the sales guys and telling them, get out there and sell what we have, don't sell what you're going to do. So I spent the first year, actually it's really been the first two years of the business, is selling what I had. I've been selling this book. I thought this was gonna be a great market to go after caregivers because there's 40 million of us, at least in the United States. And what happened was the majority of my clients were between 40 and 60, and they were buying the product to manage it, their own households. There were couples that divide and conquered, and they didn't really know what each other was doing. So they were buying the book, and I ended up being asked consistently for something digital and electronic. So we came out with that. I was meeting with estate lawyers and financial planners who know too well that this is a big problem and were watching this happen with their clients and they asked for co-branded editions. So we came up with a way to take the product and actually co-brand it for estate lawyers, financial planners, and even insurance advisors. So one year later, we have quadrupled the amount of co-branded partnerships. Um, we signed a deal with a book deal with AERP, and our book is actually coming out this summer. So thank you very much for that introduction. Um, we have a professional advisory panel so that we have estate lawyers and financial advisors that are working with us to help walk through what's the next generation of our products and how does it work with what they're doing. A book is great, the PDF is great, but that's really the portal to our clients. Our clients have a lot more needs around these issues. We have a lot of women that are coming to us that are widows. They don't know what they're going to do as they're aging, and so they're looking to Memory Bank to help solve some of those issues. Um, we're on track to be profitable this year, as well as we're building the customer, customer portal. The book's the beginning. You want to go on, you want to download forms, you want to get more information, you want tutorials. Those are all the ways that we're going to be working with our clients is through our customer portal. And if you wanted to know um, ways you can help Memory Bank, if you know someone else like an AARP or a company like USAA, um, big insurance companies or financial providers can also co-brand the book in very large quantities. Um, we have our website that's been up and running, as well as we host classes and we help people learn what do they need to do to organize this information so if someone would ever need to use it, they could turn it over and hand it to them. So thank you. Stay, stay right there. Okay. Does anyone have a question for Kay? Follow up. Go ahead. What's the name of the book? Oh, it's called The Memory Bank Register. Thank you. I am sorry. I didn't say that. And how is it going to be marketed? So um, right now, yes, the, it's, AARP is going to be a substantial 
um, assistance to us to get to the consumer market, which is very beneficial to us. Um, they'll be doing videos, they'll be writing stories. It's also going out through bookstores, so that actually takes a lot longer than actually getting a product to market, the book to market actually. So next year, early next year, the book will be in Barnes & Noble. It'll be up on, um, well, the online retailers will actually have it this summer, but in physical bookstores it will be next February or March. Yes, we, we do. We have a thumb drive edition so people can store it electronically and not keep it on their computer but have access to it and easily change and update it. Usernames and passcodes are frequently in need of being updated. So. Right, so we have discussed and we are in agreements, I guess, in talking with companies that can do that. Right now we haven't found a solution that we are confident that we can make sure your data would never be taken. So right now I can't, until I can say with 100% certainty, I know nothing's going to happen to your data. We're very hesitant to make those agreements, but we're very close to finding a solution for that. Good. Okay, thank you very much. Have a good day.